Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and today we're going to take a look at how to use text in Blender. Uh, I know that's not really game dev related, but uh, it is something that Blender is quite capable of, but it's not very obvious in how to use it. Uh, I recently had to make a title screen for a game tutorial I'm working on. Um, I was going through the process and went, wow, this isn't really that obvious, so maybe I should put together a quick video. And here is that video. Uh, so if you find yourself having to do logos, um, uh, title screens, that kind of stuff, credits, etc. for your game, uh, you could definitely consider Blender. It's, it's got some pretty powerful text features built in. They're just not obvious at all. It's quite easy once you know what you're doing. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you that. So here we're in default Blender scene. Let me just uh, get rid of that guy. And text in Blender is, uh, it's an object just like splines, like uh, meshes, etc. You just come in, you go add text. All right, so I want it to be uh, facing down the, um, down the, uh, the y-axis so I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees on the X like so and then we just flip to my front view there we go oops flip back to my front view and it in a bit All right. so there is default text in blender uh, as you saw you just add it via add text and once you've got your text is it nice to actually do something with it and just like editing mesh there's an edit mode for text objects here you can see a cursor so now I can uh, backspace now let's do a two-line classic of Hello World. And hit Tab to kick out of uh, edit mode. And just pan our camera slightly over. So there you go. There is text in Blender. Now there's a couple problems with this. So you probably want to change the font. And that's not obvious at all. You've got to come on over here. There's a, when you're working with a, a font or a text object in Blender, there's an F tab here in the, uh, the properties window. You can come on down. And there's a couple of very cool things you can do. First and foremost, you can extrude. And this will give your 3D text depth, like that in the world. Uh, generally, that's probably what you came here for and what you want. Uh, so that's a powerful little feature. Next up is uh, your font. You go over here, you can see that you can switch between bold, italic, and underline, but you can't actually set the font. So if I want sans serif for Times Roman or whatever, they're, they're not available. Uh, so what you got to do is for each particular font you want to work with, I'm just working in regular, so I'm just going to set regular here. Uh, they're using the default Blender font, but you can go ahead and you can load any TTF file you've got. Uh, in this case, I'm on Windows. Windows ships with a bunch of fonts in the uh, Windows folder uh, under fonts. There's all the common fonts you're used to. If you're on Mac, it's got a, it's probably got more fonts actually, but uh, they'll obviously be in a different location. But you just find navigate to the TTF file you want to use. Uh, let's go ahead and use you Gothic. No idea what this is, but okay, that's ugly. Uh, let's use something different. Um, rod. Ah, there we go. That's even uglier. All right. So there is our text in Blender. Uh, you can set this. So obviously you can change the fonts up this way. You can extrude. Uh, using this property here. You can offset, which is the amount of, or basically your thickness of the of the, um, the font in 3D. Uh, you can bevel it, so that's how the edges are going to be raised or shot. And then resolution is the uh, mesh density that it's going to render at. Uh, leave that alone, I don't want it to be too, too big. Next up is you've got your uh, your paragraph justification. Just like if you're working in a word processor, let me just switch back to, oh, I'm in edit mode. Never mind. Alright, switch out of edit mode, switch back to the front camera. Um, you can align just like you would in a word processor. Uh, this is all being done relative to your pivot point of your object, so if you want to move that uh, so that your uh, your justifications are different, it's ultimately that value that determines it. Moving the pivot points a little bit beyond what we're going to talk about in this tutorial, but that's it. Uh, basically, that's the basics of generating a font. Uh, now that you've got it, though, um, it's not really renderable or do anything with it. What you got to do now is convert it into a mesh. And that's just a matter of object, convert to, and then mesh from curve, meta, surface, text, like so. And you now have, this is now a polygon object. Uh, you can no longer edit the text at this point. Um, if you want to be able to, you should just do keep original on it. Uh, so now that we've got that, uh, here, let me just kick into edit mode. You can see a very dense mesh is generated as a result. Uh, go ahead and UV unwrap. All right. And let me just quickly do a renderer. 
Turn on freestyle. Jack up the line thickness slightly. Freestyle is uh, the non-photorealistic uh, non renderer. Um, it'll give us basically a nice looking line art thing here. Uh, last thing I need to do is pan out our camera. Oops. All right, set that back. Lock the camera to my cursor. So, pan our camera how we want it. And a quick render. So that's the, the freestyle is tracing around the edges that you see. Uh, the lack of light is not doing us justice here. Add. I'm in edit mode. All right. Add. Lamp. Sun. Shwunk. All right. That should be a bit better. Go ahead and render. There you go. So there is pretty impressive text abilities built into a... Uh, into Blender, uh, it's just not really obvious how you do it. So basically, you create your text object, you add your text, you justify it how you want it to be displayed, uh, you extrude it out into 3D using the text panel as opposed to the extrude panel. Uh, once you've got set up how you'd like and how you want it justified, etc., uh, you then convert it to a mesh, and then once it's a mesh, you treat it like normal. You can uh, apply texture maps or UV mapping like we just did, uh, and then render it accordingly. Uh, so that's how you can quickly make text in Blender. Hope that was useful. Thanks a lot.